My name is Kevin Kobach. I'm with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. We're assisting the Frederick Police Department with this case involving uh, Chris Watts. Sir, if you just introduce yourself. Uh, Dwayne Kessinger. I'm Nicole's father. And Nicole, can you just introduce yourself for the recording? Nicole Kessinger. Would you tell me who Jim was? If, if you be? had to. Okay. I don't really want to involve him in this, so it's Correct. not fair to him. Did they ask for your consent to get cell phone records? That will probably be done by warrant. If Isn't wanted. that what you just did? Nope. What I'm talking about is your movement Oh. Um, by GPS or by cell phone tower to show where you were. Obviously, and I don't want to cause you concern, we want to know where you were that day, too. You're dating a man who did some egregious stuff, and we want to put... We want to show that you were never near him that day, period. I mean, you guys so, can track my no, stuff. No, yeah, I mean, that, that was something we will have to get a warrant for anyways. To, I'm just saying, if, if we asked for it, would you have yeah, any objections you, to that? No, you can have right. it. Yeah, so anyways, Chris was like, call me. And this is a 345 text. Yeah, he sent me like a few. There were, I think there was three of them, and I don't remember what the other one said, but something about like, yeah, my family's gone, or... I don't remember verbatim, but call me when you can or have call me when you have a chance. Something to that effect. And so when he told me, call me, I was like kind of alerted where I was like, okay, what's going on? You know? Um, but first when he told me like his family was like not home, that didn't really seem odd to me that his family wasn't home. It was really vague. I'm like, okay, like, are they at the grocery store? Like, Elaborate. And so, you know, and then, but he says, call me like it's like an emergency, but then just says, but they're not there. And so I'm like really like floored by that. Well, not like floored, but just kind of like, he says, call me, so I'm concerned. And then he's really vague, so I'm like, maybe he just wants to talk to me. I don't know. I think it took me a little while to like really process the severity of the situation just because. This is not something that you expect to see every day. And the way that he talked to me made me believe that this is not what was going on. I did. I stepped outside. This um, is 345. Ish. I mean, well, like, I think I actually interacted with Jim for, like, probably a good 15 or 20 minutes. I mean, he's my guest. He's in my house. Um, so I don't think I called him right away. But, like, I mean, I'm trying to balance the fact that I have my friend here and then... Chris is saying that something needs to be addressed, but to me, it didn't sound like an emergency. I, mean, I remember hanging out with Jim for a while, and then I stepped outside, and I made a call like out on my back patio, and I called him, and he didn't answer the phone, and then he texted me back, or no, did he answer the phone? I don't remember. I think he missed my call, and then he called me back, or he just answered. Either way, it was a very short talk to him where he was just like, I have to go, the cops are here, and I don't remember if he said that on the phone or over text. That's I don't okay. even, I'm so tired. That's fine. You don't but need either way, like, it's the just cops, the context. yeah, I mean, you guys will figure it out. The cops, the cops are here, and I'm just like, all right. And then I remember we were, like, in a, like, we were texting, but I was, like, hanging out with my company, so it wasn't, like, a nonstop text. It was just kind of like I would check my phone every once in a while, and we would communicate with each other, and that her friend Nikki was there, and that her friend Nikki had called the cops. And I'm like, why would this girl call the cops? And, like... I honestly do not remember the order of operations on all of this, but I'm pretty sure the majority of our conversation that night until my friend Jim left the house, which was probably pretty late, I don't know. Um, and he was like, uh, I don't know, he just started like giving me details about stuff, and I don't remember what order, but he was saying like, Nikki was really upset and that the cops were there and that they were like searching the house and I was just like what you know like what why and he was telling me that um they had like had a disagreement or something like that and then um he told me like she was gonna go to a friend's house and I was like okay well maybe she left you know maybe she just like went to her friends and then I think he I don't remember but I think he was the one that told me that her cell phone and her purse were still there I think he told me that he told you her I, cell phone and purse were still there I think he did I don't remember what's I really the can't. significance of that in your mind at that time at that point 
I thought this woman was really trying to get out of this house. That's what I thought, because he said that they'd had a disagreement, and I was just like, okay, well, I mean, I leave my cell phone at home. He said disagreement. What, did he tell you what it was about? or Not at that point. Not at that point. So, um, again, like, you guys are going to have to check these texts, because it's all, like, uh, my brain feels like okay. mashed potato right now. Um, but I remember him saying that, and I'm just thinking, like, well, maybe she was in a rush, you know? Like, maybe she was just like, I'm going to my friend's. I'm leaving my cell phone here because I don't want you calling me. I don't want anyone else calling me. I mean, there are days where, like, when I'm outside of work, I will just shut my phone off. I just do it. And it's, like, my way of getting peace. So, to me, that, I mean, like, it was weird that she, it wasn't even that weird to me that she left her phone just because I leave my phone. But it was weird to me that she left her purse. But knowing the fact that that girl was, like, always on her phone, then, yeah, I guess it is kind of odd. Well, she lived on her phone, I think, uh, yeah. pretty much, is my understanding of her and a phone. So, yeah. I don't know if you knew that. I did. Until prior to the media stuff, or just from Chris. I did. So, did that, so did that strike you as odd? But you're I thinking know. maybe I mean, she again, just left. I just thought she needed to, like, get away from the situation. I mean, I, that didn't seem that awkward to me, that a couple that is going through a separation would be like were I need to leave I just need some space like it didn't even like process I was like okay like give her some space you know and um on that note too um when he was in we're gonna jump back for just a second okay. I had a thought so when I he was coming back from North Carolina that was when he officially told me we're gonna get a divorce and we're gonna put the house up for sale like he told me they were separating and they were like Gonna put the house up for sale, but they hadn't done it yet. And then when he got back from North Carolina, that was when he was like, it was like a sealed deal. Okay. Um, and the reason that is of significance is because at some point over the weekend, I don't remember when, he told me that they were putting the house up. I, I don't know if it was they were putting it up on Monday, like the day they went missing, or if it was that they were calling the realtor to verify some stuff so they could put it up that week. Like, I don't, I don't quite remember. I just remember, like, the house was supposed to be, like, on the market. Like that week. Did he name a real letter ever? Yeah, he did, and I don't remember her name. It was a female. Okay. And I don't remember her name, like That's at all. Funny. I was trying to think of that for you guys not too long ago. So the company? Do you get the company name? No, he never gave me that. He like gave me her name, and he's, it was the same name twice. He gave it to me once when he was in North Carolina, and then once the other time. Because I remember asking, I was like, who's that? Because he was like, he's like, I'm going to have to have her call so and so today and make sure everything's still good to go. And I was like, who's that? He's like, the realtor. I was like, oh. Or not today, but like. If it ever comes Monday. to your mind, just. Yeah, I doubt it. That was such a. Yeah. I will try. I don't Lots remember names. what it was. It's, fine. it's not that critical. Um, that person may come forward to us, anyways, um, uh, perhaps. So okay. don't worry about it. Let's go back to the phone calls on Monday afternoon. Yeah, so. Um, so he's like texting me a lot of this information, and I'm starting to kind of freak out. And it's not like I'm freaked out, like, oh, she got murdered. I mean, that is not what I thought. It's like, okay, like, the way I looked at this, like, apparently his wife had been gone since midday. Well, was when she got, like, reported missing. I didn't know that. Like, he's, the way I looked at this, it was, I got home from work just now. I mean, he didn't say that, but I interpreted, I just got home from work. And my family is not here. So when we're texting for, like, a few hours, like, the cop thing was kind of weird. But he's like, Nikki insisted they call the cops. Nikki insisted they call the cops. And I'm like, okay, you know, and I'm just trying to figure out, well, like, what role does this woman play in this situation? Like, is she... Did you know who she was? No, I don't know any of his people. Um, like, this has been pretty, like, tight rap for a while, which is probably a really good thing. Um, but anyways... Um, I didn't know, like, who she was. And so, um, like, I started asking him. I was like, well, where do you think your wife is at? And he's like, he's like, I think she'll be back tonight. Like, I think she's, like, out with somebody. And he was telling me that they had had a disagreement. So I was like, well, I remember telling him, I was like, you should make sure that you have a fr oh um wait a minute can someone put down in comments what they think she's going to say here you 
should make sure that you have a frau. Oh, um, wait a minute. I just can't pick up that word that she's about to say. So, someone please help me. You should make sure that you have a frau. Oh, um, wait a minute. No, no, no. So, all that happened. And then it starts getting kind of laid out. And I remember we talked for text for a while and part of this conversation, and then it moved to the phone. Um, I remember telling him, because he was like, I think she'll just be back tomorrow. I think she's just going to be gone for the night, like, with a friend, you know? And Did like, he name the friend? No, he didn't. And, like, I... Well, and because I, I don't think... He made it sound like he didn't know, like, what friend's house she would be at. And I remember talking to him, and I was like... Well, maybe it's that Nikki girl. And he's like, well, Nikki called the cops, so why would she be at Nikki's house? I'm like, I don't know, kind of throws her off the trail of where she's at, you know? And it's like, it sounds kind of weird, but it's like, I, he really made this sound like this woman was just, like, upset, left the house. And that was probably what he thought happened to her. And so I, I didn't really put too much, like... Did he tell you the kids were missing as well yes i knew okay. i mean which made sense to me because i was like well if you were at work all day i mean he didn't tell me he got home early he didn't say that to me so i mean it made sense like if she's gonna leave they should probably go with her um and and so uh, i don't know i wish i feel like i wish i should have like processed all of this earlier but i just don't feel like when one of my friends is gone i'm like oh my god and i'm like oh my god and i'm like oh For some reason, ladies and gents, that's the end of the recording. So, parodies complete. I know there's uh, two phone interviews and another audio video, I think. Uh, but I don't know how much is in that because she spends most of the time repeating herself or going through phone records. But I could have a look. Let me know if you want me to.